Welcome to the Just Right Snowboard channel. I'm Lars Horstman. Today, with a genuine apology, I lied. In one of my episodes called Board Design Part 2, the thumbnail reads Biggest Board, Smallest Turn, and it's popping up right here. Um, I am talking about a whole bunch of snowboard design aspects that all contribute to a board's turn shape and turn radius. And at some point in the episode, I'm trying to make the point that if you have two snowboards of uh, the exact same side cut radius, let's say an eight meter turn radius on the spec sheet, but one of them has um, a longer effective edge, that the one with the longer effective edge would be able to perform a tighter turn. Now, someone, uh, one of my viewers here called Riot Super Carver, got on the keyboard and sent me a bunch of mathematical formulas and pointed out that I was wrong. Uh, it didn't take me very long to realize that I was indeed wrong as much as I wasn't totally on the wrong track. Now, to set this straight and to put things into perspective and uh, also so I don't have to delete that video because I still believe that there's a lot of really good content in that video, I'm gonna set this straight in this little clip. And if that was an easy thing to do, it sure would not be on the Just the Right Snowboard channel. All right, I'm gonna use a cardboard dummy snowboard. This is the outline of a current uh, K2 kit snowboard, by the way. Um, it's way easier to explain this with a dummy and you will quickly understand why. So what I was explaining in the previous episode is uh, side cut depth. So when you put this thing on edge, you see this curve here, that's the side cut radius. And where my fingers are poking through the distance between the table and the board, that's the side cut depth. And I was arguing that if you have a deeper side cut, so more space under the board right here, that obviously you would be able, you would have more space to push into and, and bend the board into its turn shape. Hence, the deeper the side cut, the tighter your potential turn. And a board with a short effective edge, like this one here right now, has a much lesser side cut depth than a board with a long effective edge. I hope this uh, comes out on the camera here. So, since this, what you see here, uh, I didn't change the, the side cut of the piece of cardboard, it's the same uh, radius, right? So this is my assumption that um, increasing the side cut depth by increasing the effective edge gives me more space and I can push deeper, therefore ride a tighter turn. Now, here's where this uh, is total nonsense. When I put this thing on edge and you, uh, you kinda envision the, the curve, if I simply at this moment take this board and shorten its effective edge by tilting this up, Nothing changed, nothing changed at all. So it totally doesn't matter, right? I was absolutely wrong. Uh, side cut depth on, a, on two boards uh, with the same kind of um, side cut radius does not really change how tight the board can uh, turn. So this is the moment where board flex starts playing a really big role. Think of a two by four and let's say a 12 foot length. That piece of wood is gonna have quite some flex to it. If you cut it down to a two or three foot piece, you will see that it loses pretty much all of that flex and becomes rigid. Now, the same thing can be applied to uh, two snowboards. If you don't alter the flex and you simply make a board longer, it will flex more, relatively speaking. Now, take a look at this uh, skier image here. I wasn't able to find an equivalent with a snowboarder, but it's all the same thing. Look how much the ski tip here is flexing. The curve that the flex alone is putting on snow um, draws a much tighter line than what the side cut of the ski would actually be putting on snow. So whenever we are turning, we have to consider that there's two different curves here. The one is our side cut, that's obviously important to turn at all. And the other one is the so-called flex curve. And this is what Riot Supercarver 
uh, in his comment was pointing out to me, flex curve. That was something that I hadn't really thought of that deeply before, but it makes total sense, uh, as you can see in this image here. So technically, um, my previous assumption that the longer of the two boards will be able to turn tighter if the flex has not been altered uh, is still correct. But the reason for that, for that is not the increased side cut depth, but actually simply the additional material length allowing for the overall board to flex more and potentially to flex easier. So what does that mean for us in practical life? Simply put, if you enjoy the benefits of a longer board, which is like speed stability, overall like that calm, soulful feel, you can really trust the board and lay into it, uh, ride higher speeds in your deep carves, uh, if that's you and, and, and you love that edge grip that you get out of a longer effective edge, then simply bear in mind that you pick the right flex. Anyways, we need to always be mindful of that. Um, but in this particular case with the longer boards, that's a tricky one. First of all, there are not that many brands out there that actually produce boards that are longer than, let's say, 1 meter 66 or so. But then also the brands that do quite often design those boards simply to uh, suit bigger, heavier riders, like I'm talking 250 pound kind of riders. So if that is not you, simply uh, be mindful to pick the right brands and the right product so you can really enjoy the additional length rather than constantly fighting it. All right, that was it for me here today. I hope I was able to correct the mistake that I had previously made in the other video. I think my little cardboard dummy here uh, was helpful to wrap your head around the things that I'm talking about. And again, my genuine apologies for spreading this kind of mis and disinformation on this platform. Uh, otherwise, if you're enjoying what you're seeing here, please don't forget to like the videos that uh, inspire you and also maybe to subscribe and get the notifications so you know what's coming up next time. Until then, see you later, take care, stay stoked. <laughs>